What is an onslaught? It is described as a fierce or destructive attack, or a large quantity that is too difficult to cope with. Well, from the way I look at it, it looks like I'm next in line. We are top class warriors, so no one is stopping us. But when an army rises up, how much will these men take? Will their past failures lead to their permanent downfall? Stay tuned because Onslaught begins now. And now, All Out Revolution presents Onslaught. If both parties are set, then I think a showdown can take place because this is Onslaught. What is up? It's the boys and W Boss in the building. We are right here in our nation capital, Washington, D.C. So without further ado, let's get the show started. We're going to kick things off with a number one contender match between the Millennium Riders and the Cabal, where the winning team will become the AOR Tag Team Champion. So Gino, our own slot opening contest, it is a number one contender for the AOR Tag Team Championship. Introducing first at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Brian and Sean Walter, the Millennium Riders. You think the Gino 93 for being the guy that's gonna be doing the ring announcer for tonight, his channel will be in the description. But nonetheless, uh, speaking of guys that are ready and willing to do things, I'm sure the Millennium Riders are looking to beat the Cabal or willing to beat the Cabal tonight because if they do that, they get the chance to face Wolfpack for the Tag Team Championship. But you know Wolfpack is uh, definitely gonna be having an eye on this one. Here comes the Cabal, the team that beat them, that beat the Millennium Rider, to become the first ever AOR Tag Team Champion in the first place. These two teams are no strangers to each other. And introducing their opponent at a combined weight of 420 pounds, Brian Cage and El Brieth, the Cabal. That was Jason Ryan Ray, they're ready to rock and roll here. I'm sure this is going to be a hard hitting contest as usual between these two teams, but the question is, is the Cabal even 100% there mentally? Because yes, yeah, they know they gotta face the Millennium Rider, that's a given. But within the past couple of weeks, the crew has kinda stuck their nose back into things because Taskmaster did promise the crew that they were gonna get a shot at the tag team title. And the crew felt they held up there into the bargain and, well, the Cabal haven't held up there. So recently, they actually had to beat the crew in order to keep their spot here in this matchup. So the Cabal were able to do that, but then to have to mentally shift your mind from the crew to the Millennium Rider, especially given what's at stake here in this matchup, you gotta ask yourself, are these guys really ready to go? Nonetheless, they're coming out here, they're all determined as usual. If you guys ain't gonna be playing no game, I can probably do that much. Uh, Brian. Uh, here goes uh, Brian and Ryan Ray starting us off, really. Uh, very couple of shots here, ladies and gentlemen, that we uh, get the thing started. And hello again, my name is Jane W. Boss, and welcome you guys to the Onslaught pay per view. Once again, you thank to Gino for providing the ring announcement. And uh, Jackson Spike was uh, told to stay home, giving the attack on uh, AOA recently. So thanks to Gina for stepping in. Again, his link will be down there in the description. And to our premier chat, thank you guys. And for everyone, feel free to click the, uh, if you enjoy, feel free to click the uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And also uh, click the little bell icon that we don't miss another AOA or AOR upload. And next time AOA will actually be doing something will be the next level pay-per-view, so stay locked in for that. You definitely want to stay locked into this matchup because look at the Millennium Riders rolling here on the Cabal. 
Look at Sean Walter going to the top rope now. Here we go. Look at that double rotation move, though. Trying to go a little bit high risk, a little too early. And Ryan Wade was able to catch him. And have a striking game that has that, that strong style to it. Really paying off it. And it's locking the leg now. Rose just up to the middle rope. Man, right on the knee tip. That's what walking, my man. And that was just immediately, like, immediately locking in the submission. Good work there. Now Sean is trying to, trying to crawl, trying to, trying to drag his way toward the ropes, drag his way to the corner. He got to do something here because he's already in a very bad spot, especially after that double team move that we just saw. Got enough electric to get out of that one. I commend him for that one. Tried to follow up there, but that was great. Right. Well, nah, brother, we good. He went about to follow up on nothing, but he said no, no, actually, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good enough to reverse that. Good job of following up with the drop kick, but look at Ryan Wade. Oh, man, same shot in that breaker, not legal. But definitely a good way to keep the uh, momentum in your team's corner. And then dumped to the outside. It's already even looking to, uh, uh, it's already even looking too good for him at all. Kick right to the midsection. And look at this. Oh, man. Spine first. Right on the apron, tossing them back in. Sean is in a world of trouble right about now. Oop, that's right hand, that's right hand again. Dragging me. Look at, oh, super kick. And look at this, right into that pedigree combination. They're really on the A game tonight, I don't give them that one. Straight through the cover here and a kick out of two. If I was uh, Brian in this case, I would have jumped in anyway. No, well, I would have jumped in anyway because um, I can promise you. I can promise you this much. Stuff like that isn't really gonna, gonna help their chances. Look at that! Beautiful work. Beautiful work right there. Nice springboard. That's a springboard superstar press there. And Ryan continuing to take advantage. <laughs> Little fall flash again right to the spot. I'm really, really wearing the guy down. What's wrong with that? Like the referee, what the what were you doing? Right kind of give him a piece of his mind after that. What was what was that? Like the walker? Come on, bro. He gave him you can argue that probably cost him cost the uh, cost the ball right there. I don't admit. He might be looking to get back in this one. Definitely got to. Imagine football really not been in their, uh, in their ball. Here we go. Wait a second. Got him up. Here we go. Beautiful leg jump, right? Nice work right there. Going up to the top rope. Now Brian is on a roll here. Nice shooting star. Beautiful. Beautiful shooting star. Press. Straight to the cover. Not a bad idea. Two. Three. Oh, man. So close. So close. So far away for the cabal, or for the uh, Millennium Rider. Ryan ready to get out of that one. Four for the top rope goes on. And swings on right back in. Hey, work there. Ryan Rider's on the A game right now. Ryan is in, in some hot water himself. And to try to make the tag A set up. They counter there. They counter there, gonna send him off into the, the ropes again. Ooh, a couple of here for him, right in the mouth. Trying to go for another one. A bit too short there. Uh, being short didn't really, his height didn't really, uh, really help him out in that regard. But Ryan was able to get over and meet the tag, and they're going to do the exact same thing as they did to Sean and Brian. Get to feel the same pain as his brother said. Well, they're now going to the top rope. Not a bad idea. Let's see how we followed up here tonight. Ooh, man. Another foot stop right through the midsection. Straight into the cover. I gotta say the Cabal has been ooh. Kick out there. I gotta say the Cabal have really been doing a good job at trying to make ooh. Well, that well they were. Well they were. They were. How <laughs> did these guys go? I, I, I was about to give credit to the Cabal and say they were doing a good job at, at maintaining offense. Even when they did have a small slip up, they found a way to maintain offense. And I guess my point can still be proven correctly. 
And wait a second, look at Shaw now. Ooh, right in the back of the neck. Stop him. Right on the back of the neck. May Eldridge is back up. 450 by Ryan. Completely whipped. They kick to the midsection. Ooh, that rubber dropped it, man. These guys are, I think now. Oh, wait a second. Uh, this thing kind of broken down here. Wait a minute. Eldridge got sent to the outside. Ryan's in the showboat, but if I was him, I guess he's going to keep the focus on Eldridge. But look at Ryan here. Ryan, he's about to get mental up in there. Look at it, coast to coast, beautiful, beautiful coast to coast. And Shaw took the worst of that one. Oh, man, he got dropped across the apron, and the Cabal remains in control. Cabal remains in control here. Beautiful. Now the only tag match we're going to have for the evening. Later on tonight, the AOA, yes, AOA tag team title will be up for grab. The uh, Black Black will take on an act on leash. What a war that's going to be. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. What a drop into the side of the head. Ooh. Get right to the midsection line. Ready to stand on top of the day game here. And here we go. Oh. With the great buck on the floor, look at Eldre. What a good job keeping him in his corner. And Brian is in a world of trouble here. The tool dog on the floor? What in the yo, come on. We just getting started. He's gonna two dog his man on the floor. Right in the world. I forgot to restart the count and Eldre broke it. That's that tooth on the floor, man. Like, what do you, what do you really got left in the tank there? Pick him up. Tag is made. Look at some cabal rolling here. Oh, man. Brutal combination that we've seen. And here comes Shaw now getting in this one. And the Ryan to the outside. Heads up over there, Ryan. Hurricane Rana Eldre coming around the back way. And a couple of shots in, man. What a way to make the save. Well, at least attempt to make the save anyway. This is Sean. And look at that. Ooh, Sean paying for it, getting dropped face first. Right on the ground there. And, and now Brian. Oh, well. Good scouting. You have his man scouting. Look at this, handspring, Connor, Connor the night work, but Ryan Rage is back in it. And face plant him right there, beautiful, beautiful work. That momentary distraction may be what the Cabral needed, and no, it is not. Or at least not yet, as they stay in this one. Ryan Rage now going to work. Forearm there, and off the road. Ooh, look at the knee. They were talking to that, they were talking to that knee earlier. No bad idea going right back to it. I like how they, oh, man, spine buster. Put them down. Only the mad trouble. And uh, that's a really dumb move, Ryan. That's the problem that they have sometimes. And Sean in the ring now is going to drop kick the more. Third one in a row. That was back up. That went there, oh. It's landing out of yours. In the ring, boy. Uh oh. Pump handle. X Factor got it. Pump handle. X Factor connect. Oh, wait, but look at Eldre. Oh. oh. A couple of Irish church guys. Back breakers. The triple. Trifecta. Trifecta is right there. Beautiful. Now Eldre's allowing Ryan to get back to his feet. Oh, well, he technically did. The problem is, he's right there. Oh, 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 wait, wait a second, wait a second. Nice counter, I get it. That counter right, oh wait, he kicked, he kicked back up. Dodging the boot, get Eldre's out of here. He's a one-man show right now. Fisherman brain buster. Come on guys, this is a little amount of chance here. They gotta make the most of it. There we go. Pump Vandal, X Factor again. 
straight into the cover. Andre getting him, getting him side to side. Drive on the feet for this one. And wait a minute. Ooh, now no Ryan. And look at that. Look at that. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was nice. That was nice right there. Look at that. Pull in the no X Factor for like the third time in this matchup. And the Millennium Riders pick up the win. That was nice. Look at that. Let's, let's run that back. Come on, y'all. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, man. That was beautiful. The Canadian Destroyer on top of his own partner. And then Sean with that pump handle X Factor to put this one away and to lock in the slot of the Millennium Here Riders. are your winners and the number one contender for the AOR Tag Team Champions. Brian and Sean Walter, the Millennium Riders. Millennium Riders picking up a heck of a win. Bravo. Well, not a bad way to get started here. With this onslaught pay-per-view. What a, what a finish. What a finish. Great awareness. Beautiful stuff. And Brian carrying the wound of war there. And nonetheless, they got a reason to be proud as we move on. There's some singles action here. But that ain't going one on one with Derek Walker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing at 220 pounds, Alex. You know, I gotta say this about Alex. He got to do attitude and everything. And tonight is really a good way to determine of if this new attitude is going to lead to success because so far, admittedly, it has. The reason this happened with him in the first place because him and his dad came in as a tag team. They were kind of looking like a bunch of jokes. They got beaten severely on several occasions. Alex made the change to start changing himself, changing how he is, changing how he acts. And it got them, admittedly, Alex was the one that kind of won the match for the team. Okay, the real truth. Well, he was under really Alex's lead there that they won the tag team title. Then Brandon, within about five minutes of them winning it, opened his mouth and said they'll challenge anyone. And then they lost him. And then Alex snapped. And introducing his opponent from Huntsville, Alabama, weighing at 254 pounds, Derek. Walker! Derek Walker here was the guy that was trying to read with him and say, dude, yeah, I get it, you have issues with your dad and this, that, and the third, but this is not the way to go about it. And then uh, Alex has been sitting there talking all this other stuff, sitting there saying how, oh, um, Derek should, you know, mind his business and, and all this other stuff. And to a certain extent, I get it. You know, it's family issues, family, you know, family business. But Derek is trying to, you know, trying to be a helpful dude here, okay? The article was talking about how evolution is a good thing and he, he was the one that wanted this matchup here because he wanted to have a physical demonstration. He wanted to show Derek firsthand what he means. You know, Derek is going to be coming to this thing a little bit motivated here because admittedly, for as good of a um, superstar that I think Derek is, or not superstar, what are we, some entertainment promotion? What are we, some CTP guys that call their talent superstars? Sorry, for as good as these, as a wrestler that Derek Walker is. This is his first pay-per-view. And yeah, I took a cheap shot at CTP. Y'all wanna come and attack our show? I'll take my shots where I can get them. But anyway, we're getting the wrestler Derek is. This is actually his first pay-per-view. And this is Alex's first pay-per-view in singles action. So these guys got a lot to gain here in this one. There's some more either on them. All the other stuff. Look at Derek. Derek putting in work on that power game early. Probably learned a thing or two from his, uh, from his, uh, his crap with Jackson Wade on the most recent AOR episode. Oh, he flies first right into the corner. And look at Derek chucking him. Man, that dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, when the dude can find his groove, he's going to be awesome. I promise you. 
Ooh. Shot there, a couple of shots from there. Through the midsection. Kick right there. Look at Derek Walker move here. Look at him work. I went to the back of the head. I was kind of. I was kind of collapsed there. <laughs> he, 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 he be getting bad on girls. I don't blame him. <laughs> uh, but they're walking now. I think they're putting in work. And now they have to step to the outside. He, he was dealing with a lot, man. That's a lot to get hit with early on. And I don't know if Alex was taking Derek lightly, but uh, he probably should. And back on the inside of the ring. Look at that. Immediately just gets steamrolled by Derek, who is now in firm control. Oh, wait a second, got him up overhead, but look at Alec, great counter with the DDT. Beautiful work there, Alec, looking to, uh, looking to impress. He's gonna really make a good impression there. On AOR, to prove why evolution is a good thing, and you can argue by him being in a, in a match of this caliber. And another young star like Derek Walker. You can definitely see why, and he's looking to score a pin off of that, and a two count. Oh man, what is the girl right at the side of the head? Good, man. Look at this. Forearm. And, oh, a couple of forearms right into a power shot. Nelly there, I'm telling you, Alex, uh, uh, admittedly, uh, had a change for the, um, I guess, the better. Ooh. I mean, that definitely the betterment of his career. That's worse there, too, and then he got it, too. Oh, hit the curve for the third time. Trying to keep this man down. But Alex is getting a little bit desperate here. And they kick out that two again. There is still fighting in this one. Alex, you're going to have to try a little bit harder than that to keep some of the likes of Derek out of this one. Get in the leg here. He got, the, he got them all tied up. This ain't looking too hot here. They're going to get out of it. There goes that submission. Oh, wow. That needs a buckle. Just buckled what you saw it in his face. You saw it in every part of him. Just buckled it. Look at that. Eric, really? Get yours, man. Close my oh. Well, I throw that one. You duck that one. Throw that. So we're gonna throw back to the sound of Alec with a nice dude or what? Oh! I'm impressed, going to the top rope, not a, not really, he doesn't do that a lot there, I mean, he did it there, that elbow drop, beautiful, beautiful work, and Alex putting in work still, not putting in work still on there, and, oh, that breaker there, that was, uh, that's, that's someone else here, someone out of here, like it, like it, uh, like it from the bottom, oh, drop kick, and, you know, I may kind of disagree with what he did to his dad, but, He's admittedly not doing that. He can't really argue with success. And no more Alex has had a decent bit of success and he might be on his way to having a successful single pay-per-view debut if he's able to win this one. Or, well, yeah, single. I said something, I said it right. Two. Ah. Yeah, he's in there whining for Alex. He's in there complaining to the ref. How the world I would not three. And now he's challenging, he's daring him to get up at this point. Yeah, I wasn't taking that far, man, but okay, Derek. You're okay, Alec. Look at Derek, though, trying to fight back. Come on, man. Go, young man. This is your shot. Make the most of it. Up to the rope you go. Oh! Beautiful. Slinging it. Come on, man. This is your chance. This is Derek's opportunity. Look at feeling it. What a vicious clothesline. Taking his head off. Two. Ah, kick out at two. I don't know what the heck he got to do. I don't blame him. That's this way. Right to the midsection. And, oh. A violent, vicious backbreaker. Now he got it to sleep. I'm up over his shoulder. I'm up in a powerbomb position. Oh. That's one way to do it. That's one way to get vicious up in there. Man. And continuing with the punishment. The buckle ball right into just that. Hawthorne scoop. Yeah. 
caught the ball off that scoop slam, and the ref even got steamrolled in the process, and Derrick got plopped in the outside. Now he's now sees this as an opening opportunity, as a great opportunity to take advantage. Kick to the midsection. Ooh, he's put right into the ring put. I gotta say, Alex is one of the A game here. Derek had a, it seemed like, you know, it seemed like Derek was trying to get some offense, but just wasn't able to uh, really keep it there for a while. Alex now going back up top again. That's something in mind here. This ain't looking too hot for, uh, for Mr. Derek Walker. Here we go. Beautiful cross by. The flight, the elevation, the distance. And he hit his target, but still only gets a two count. This is probably the moment where Allen gets a little bit on the side of himself. And we've seen this desperation kick in. And we're seeing it again. Look how many, look how many, think about the amount of cover that Alex has gone for in this match compared to Derek. And you can argue that because Alex has been on offense more. Okay, true. I'll give you that. But maybe, Alex, instead of using, that, using you know, every single opportunity to come on, keep putting on damage to him. I mean, Derek is a tough dude, whether you want to think that or not. Derek is a tough guy. Oh, and he's showing it because he's still fighting in this one. Derek Fred, and out he goes. Now they go, now Derek using, picking his cover wisely, I like it. And see how he got a two and a half when Alex only been getting two counts? Pick your cover wisely, man. That's all I'm saying. The front hand there. Oh! And Hipper. It's a turnbuckle, and look at him now. The repeat offender there. Well, never mind. Only two of them. Ooh! A little back elbow there from there. Beautiful work. And oh! Now he goes. I mean, Watson's got to get behind him. It's on the spine first against the, the oh, right to the spine bust. The spine first off the, into the, out of the corner, immediately into the spine buster. And now Derek is, uh, I think he got it. This is it, this is it, this is his game, man, come on. He's waiting. Got something jacked up in mind here. Oh, great job right there. Great job, Breaker. Alex now dipping off into the corner. A counter from Derrick. Beautiful work right there, Alec with a DDT. Alec with a DDT, and I like how you didn't go for the cover you are looking to enter. Well, we're talking to the outside. Look at the game plan out here. Let me get a count out, Victory. What's the goal here? Oh, wait, kick to the midsection. Oh, wait a second. Oh, 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 you saw that coming. Ooh. Hey, go on, Derek. Okay, I see you. Off him back on the inside. Waiting too much time trying to, trying to inflict punishment. Waiting too much time going now. We couldn't just put the thing away. A couple of shots there. Howard picks him up. Great bust. Alec with a brain buster. Finally connects. And Derek can make it back to a feet, but he's every bit of the word dazed and confused. Wait a minute. Wait a second, trying to go with a straight right hand. Derek on instinct. Realizing where he was. Oh, wait a second. Boot to the midsection again. Look at this. Oh, brain buster right on the chair. Brain buster on the steel chair. And now what you gonna roll now? Close line, close line again. Drop kick. This is his wheelhouse. He's in his wheelhouse here. DDT on the chair. The top. Okay, we need to clear the chair outside the ring. I mean, come on, come on, clear the chair, man. Clear the chair. Oh, brain buster again. That's a wrap, bro. That's a wrap, man. I'll pick up the win. Stooping that low and using a chair. Here is your stuff. winner, Alex. Wait a second, that's, 
think that's Brandon watching on. Brandon, Brandon's watching on. Brandon's here. The first time we've seen him since last stand. I wonder what's on his mind. I wonder what's in his mind. Anyway, I do know what's on the mind of Kaden Miles. It is to, uh, well, other than prance around the hallway like an idiot. Other than that. I know he's looking to uh, do what he can in this next matchup. Because Kaden Miles is set to defend his global championship in a triple threat match against Evan West and Aaron Weaver. Now, given the amount of time Kaden has uh, kind of caught one of these two matches, I'm almost certain that uh, our two challengers, Evan West and Aaron Weaver, they're going to be gunning for him. Here comes challenger number one. Let's go, Evan West. Now, I really like this guy. This dude was actually the. I guess you can say he was the first global champion. I guess. Given the uh, given the actions of Austin Kazarian and Kaden. The following contest it is a triple threat match and it is for the AOR Global Championship. Introducing first from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing at 193 pounds, Evan West. Well, like I said, Evan West, you can argue if he is the first global champion or not, but. I will say he's definitely looking for a measure of revenge here. Because back in the last stand pay per view, Evan West went one on one with Caden's little uh, mentor, I guess you can say, Austin Kazarian, in which Caden assisted Austin Kazarian to a win. Just saying. Anyway. Introducing next from Seattle, Washington, weighing at 201 pounds, Aaron Weaver! Taking him there, Weaver making the win out of the ring, the five-star athlete himself. That's it is again. Kaden off right hand, and Aaron losing the match off in Kazaria. What is up with it, dude? So anyway, we continue to decide it since, uh, since, uh, since Kaden, like, to uh, continue to take a note and lead to business. We're going to have him defend his global championship against both men here. And now I know Evan and uh, Aaron have a little bit of uh, respect for each other after their best of five series. That's what the best of five. But you got to ask yourself. Well, I mean, I think we already know where Aaron stands as every man for himself, regardless of how you feel about it. Here comes our defending champ. And making his way to the ring, he is the AOR Global Champion from New York, weighing at 240 pounds, Caden Miles. Caden Miles, if I'm correct, this is his first championship defense. Of the, of, the, of the global championship that was introduced at the beginning of season two, awarded to Evan West, but uh, Kane Miles came out and challenged Evan West right there on the spot for that global title. So this is his first ever defense. He, he didn't defend it at last then because his buddy, most likely because his buddy off the Kazar was in a match. The crowd here in Washington ain't really digging or uh, they were a so-called net top prospect, but I gotta say, with only one loss to this man's record, I can't argue against it. He literally only had one loss to his record. Question is though, is he gonna make it two? Well, that one depends on how it does in this triple threat match. Well, the championship is on the line. I wish uh, Mr. Caden Miles met the luck here with a few challenges. Evan West, Aaron Weaver, and Caden Miles. And a triple threat match is underway. And look at that. Evan instantly going after Kazar, after um, Caden. That's Eric Lana right there. And now look at this double team. I knew it. I knew it. You see? You see? This is what you get. Got a lot of people stuck. And you get double team. Look at this guy putting in work here. 
Dob it off the chain. Yeah. 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 You pop prospect, huh? Where's your buddy now, huh? It's different now, ain't it? Real different now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, eventually, they're going to probably fight each other. But until then, I'm cool with it. That time drag grab and went. Now, this is looking too good for. You're kind of looking out of eye here. I'm telling you, you know what's up. Ooh, they throw line over the top. The out goes. Out goes. Kaden Meyer, the nice back suit, Black Evan. Probably getting a little bit of payback from from, uh, from this past episode. Ooh. All right, me, immediately going to the EVT. Evan can have it right here. We're we'll following a finish here. Kaden instantly jumping in there. I don't know if Evan was able to kick out or, if, sorry, if Aaron was able to kick out or Kaden made the save, but either way, that's a still continue. Going right to the top of the head. Kick right to the midsection. Look at Aaron. Look at Aaron go. Look at that. And Tony Carano there. This already isn't looking too good for our champion. We're getting worn out here. And Aaron now trying to get, a, get an attack in on Evan. Who's ready for him? And like I said, these two have the best of five so these two know each other quite well. And I'm sure Aaron knows what that's like on the part of Evan West here. Now goes to the top row. He's been there thinking West would expect it already. Evan trying to bring this one home. Great hurricane rod by Aaron. Kaden's now back in the mix. And instantly get dropped on his neck. Welcome back in the match. Never able to break things up there. A couple of forearms. Big kick to the midsection. Now he goes. And do a move up. Beautiful work. Now Kaden Miles taking advantage. Nice back feet, Blake. Up him right on his head. And Miles is not looking to, uh, and Aaron in a very, it's a very vulnerable, very vulnerable spot here. And look at that, oh, that fisherman. Suit black on the part of Caden. And to wrap it up, only get the two count there. Great hook, great cradle. And able to make it work now. Now wait a second, now look at Aaron. Caught the leg, cradle shot, now he goes. Look at that. That's a good job on the part of Aaron to kind of to keep that grip in. <laughs> and to prevent Caden, to prevent uh, that thing from getting broken up there. Great grip on the part of Aaron there. And look at that. Beautiful sunset from the power bomb by Evan West to Aaron. And now he kind of got Caden all to his mold from here. At least for the moment. All him up to his feet. What do you got in mind? Here we go. Nice turn on. Down goes Caden. Here we go. Up over the top goes Evan. Beautiful drop kick back on the inside. Back up top he goes. Westport expansion on the floor. Now Evan, now that's a great way to take Aaron out of the equation. Gonna go for something there. Caden with a nice counter. And I'm off into the rope. Ooh, what a boot. Immediately get, get caught with a boot. Straight to the cover and a kick out. Thing are looking too good for uh, Mr. Evan West here. What's in the world of trouble? Aaron making it back to his feet. And grabbing about the nut. Wait a second. Aaron got a steel chair. Aaron got a steel chair. Great super kick. A chair shot right in the back of the head. Caden rolls to the outside. And a kick out instantly. <laughs> By, by Evan, I give him, I give him guts, man. That, he probably heard the ref manager just moved on his feet. That couple of clotheslines there, duck under, super kick. Down he goes. Aaron now going to the top rope. And wait a minute. Double rotation fails. He's got me to stop trying that move. Oh, no. And we see what Katie can do with a steel chair. That much I can't say. And he just clocks Evan right in the back of the head again. But look at that. Aaron Weaver was ready to rock on that. Aaron now going up top. This is not looking too good for our global champion. Double rotation rolls up by the connect. Second time around. It is a charm. Referee's frantically running around here. What a triple threat match this is. 
And look at the head right super right, right on that chair. So it's legal, no qualification. And then a couple of threat matches. And Evan now, Westworld expansion again. Kaden got that scouted. Straight right hand. Up to the rope. Up and count, you're up and it. Look at that. Oh! Wow! This is wild power. Wait a second. Aaron getting up to his feet. Aaron was, Aaron was getting up to his feet on the floor. Caden now using that chair just to brutalize. Just to absolutely brutalize. Aaron here. Wait a minute. Caden is looking all. Oh! Evan says sit down somewhere in there. Tossing Aaron back on the inside. On to the top rope. Now he he caught him with one for the clinch when he was out on the floor. Is he gonna catch him right here inside the ring? Wait a second. And now get back to his feet. And you know he's probably sitting there thinking about it. Wait a second. Oh! Point the rod of McCain back in. Deep six puts him down. Deep six putting him down. But wait a second. Okay, interesting strategy. Let's pin him to pin Aaron here. Aaron kicks out. All right, so you now go pin the other dude. Probably waited a little bit too long with, ah, oh, yeah, he did. Randall almost had it, man. They counter. Oh, wait a second. Cradle shot right on the neck of Caden again. But Evan is back up. Evan back up, Aaron feeds him, that's probably why he didn't go for the cover here. Evan feeds him, down goes, down goes, uh, Aaron Weaver straight to the cover here, no! Almost had it, almost had it. You gotta try to move there. Jaden probably feel the title slipping away. Here we go, oh! It's super kick, getting around. He was ready for him. Right to the back there. Ooh, this right hand. Poison rod again. This right hand right into the poison rod. Straight to the top rope. Westward expansion. No. Counter again. Grab him by the throat. Back way. He got him. He may have him. Unless, unless Aaron can get back to it. Ooh, what a vicious knee. He vicious knee. And wait a sec. Oh, DDT on the floor. DDT on the floor. Way to keep Aaron out of the game there. And see, again, he got him. He got him. He got him. Straight into the cover. Aaron on the floor. He got to get back in there. Oh. Dang, man. Just a little bit too slow. Just a tad bit too slow. Here is your winner and still the AOR Global Champion, Kaden Mayo. As Gino so eloquently puts it, as a result of Aaron being a half a step too slow, Kaden is your still your Global Champion. What an effort. Move on here. Once again, now we have some women's tag team action. Taking a three tag matches on the evening. And the Vegas, Candy and Sassy. They go to the team of Haley and Glory. Here comes Candy Vegas. You gotta commend the Vegas for their actions a little bit here. And the minute announcement. The following tag team match it is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Columbia, South Carolina, winning 132 pounds, Candy Vega. Candy Vega's ready to rock and roll here. I'm sure it's happening, you know. Jersey's gonna be waiting on her, po her partner tonight, Sassy. Sassy Vega. And I'm gonna say it this way. They can know what they're getting themselves into. Because uh, they, they attacked 
But last, well, last stand, let me point out, at last stand, it was supposed to be this exact same matchup. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. Gloria now getting a little bit of payback here. Drop the bait immediately to Candy Vega. Gloria now getting a little bit of retribution here. And now here comes Savage. She might want to move as fast as she can down from the ring. Candy is in instant trouble. What in the world? And I think Candy and Sassy know what Haley and Gloria can do. And Haley got thrown knee right in the jaw. These two are looking to wrap this one up fast. And oh, Sassy able to make the save. Nice forearm there. Down she goes. Here comes. Here comes Haley looking to. Ooh. I'm getting right to the knee. I'm getting right to the knee. Great counter there from Gloria. Gloria stepping in. Beautiful work right there. Oh, right across the apron goes Savage. That's not a good look, but Candy instantly got hit with a bulldog. Going on the inside of the ring. Haley now continuing this assault here on Candy Vega. And a nice counter though. A counter on the part of Sandy. Finally she's able to get the tag. She needed that one. Right to the face. I don't know if Haley's trying to get me one over quickly. I only get the one count at best. I mean, are you are closer to the two count, but I really think that the one count is down. I don't know if Lori took the bigger one out the back on a bad idea. I say that with all the respect to Lori. Drop kick, Haley uh, was able to get too far out of range there. Actually, Nick judging her target, but he fought on with it that time, and I don't think playing that striking game with Haley is the best idea. I think Sassy is looking to get a little bit of retribution from last stand. He got busted over inside of that steel cage, and wait a second, Candy from the other side. They're going to face first down Laban and the point of honor on the floor. Well, the one thing is, every time you probably see a point of honor in the we begin to. So, <laughs> there you go. Then we get tossed to the inside of the ring. Sassy now taking it to, taking it to Haley. I'm sure, like I said before, Sassy's looking to get a good bit of retribution from Haley. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, no. Nope. Going for a candy cut on the scene. I guess you're going to call that. I guess you're going to call it that. I think I got the picture in for it. Candy cut. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh! There she go. Uh, I think it's little of her. You kind of took your eye off the ball a little bit there, Ellie. Ooh! And her feet boot. Candy now looking to go to work here. Here we go. Nice counter though from Ellie. Ooh! Oh! Look at that breaker. Look at Sassy though. Oh, she's going off the top. Now instantly, she rolls to the outside, but Haley will cover quickly. Haley will cover quickly. And that allowed Gloria to get in the thing. Haley is still, Haley is still knocked out on the way. Look at this. Those two splashes in a row. Oh, what a, what a stiff close line. Candy trying it. Gloria in all five. Oh, look at her go. Gloria is running rampant here. Now she goes. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh! What a fall! That was a nasty fall right there. That was probably a little bit of a from this one. Gloria is running. Look at him. He dropped the base again. Dropped the base for the second time. You can't let me see losing the mind, you. What a world is this? Oh, Will Barrow Network. Nice. 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 And look at this. Drop the bait for the third time to Candy Vega. Tag and made. Candy need, need to. Uh oh. Well. Uh, I, think, I think we're about to wrap this one up here. Oh. 
Wolf shot right to the jaw. Down goes Cassidy. They're trying to watch it to love it every minute of it. And now, this ain't looking too good. Candy got to tap out, yo. Talk about running. Talk about just coming in and running the competition. Haley and Gloria. Here are your win. winners. Haley, Victor, and Gloria Bass. Gloria Bass and Haley picked up a great win over the Vega. That will probably, in their mind, hopefully, put the Vegas behind them. We will see what is next for these two ladies. Now these two are celebrating. Right here, DC on there. They digging it, fam. Hey, wait, wait a minute. What the? What in the world? Haley with the, the drop and Gloria. The fifth shot and Gloria trying to figure out where the world she's at. What's the word is this about? What on earth? She rolls to the outside. I think Gloria realized what just what happened here. Haley said, okay. What the oh! A vicious combination. And Haley now beating the Jalen on Gloria. What? what the world? Well, I think I think what's next on the on the agenda for Haley is to do her own thing, clear. Wow. What is this? You try Jackson. You try taking me out. I can promise you this. They say what don't kill you make you stronger. Well, Jackson, I can promise you I'm stronger than ever. And that doesn't just go for me. That goes for Nate and Dwayne, too. Because what, tonight, those two, you've at least decided of them that they didn't want to resort back to. And as far as I go, let me tell you something, Jackson. Tonight, you're going to wish you finished the job. Because whether you like it or not, you're going to have to fight to take what's mine. Did you hear me? It's mine. I own it. This is mine. The AOR World Championship belongs to me. And you're going to have to kill me to get it, Jackson. And I can promise you, good luck with doing that. Good luck with sitting on the top of the throne. Because tonight, top class warriors are going to be nothing more than the dirt under my boots. Game on, Jackson. It's game on. Wow. I think our game is ready. Ain't no disputing that. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move on, it's now time for women's action as the AOR Women's Championship is on the line here. Between Ashley Knight and the current champion, Carmen, as you see the rib of Ashley taped up, she is earned. Yeah, I say earned. She earned those where she did a frog flash from the top of the truck to Chloe show up during their fall camp anywhere match. Ashley won the match, but at what cost? And admittedly, ever since then, she's been doing more high-risk stuff that you wonder, what's the cause? Why did you do it? You know you got bad ribs, what you doing it for? So, Ashley, as much as you kind of want to feel bad for her, because, you know, if you're going to this thing less than 100%, you can argue that if you, you keep doing, if you keep doing what you always do, and you always get what you always got. So, Ashley, gold high risk a lot of the time with bad ribs hasn't really worked out for her. Well, I hope tonight she finds some way to change her strategy up a bit. Common though, but that's like first thing. She tried it again. Though. 
Don't make her way down to the ring and in the women's championship. She beat Chloe on an episode of AOR to earn that championship. She beat Ashley Knight and Chloe in a triple threat match for that women's championship back at back at Little Orr with Ashley eliminating Chloe from the match. And then Ashley inadvertently eliminating herself by the dude, jumping from the top of the ladder with Carlin on the table on the floor and she missed. So, they have to think if Ashley wants to win tonight, she might want to be a little bit more strategic, a little bit more wider, a little bit more uh, smart in her strategy. But regardless, this is going to be a good the following match. following punches is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the AOR Women's Championship. What it's all about, my man. Let's see if she can do it. Introducing first from Cameron, North Carolina, standing at 5 feet 5, winning at 132 pounds, Ashley Knight. Introducing her opponent, she is the AOR Women's Champion from Tampa, Florida. Standing at 5 feet 5, winning at 132 pounds, Carmen! Okay, well I'm going to say man, if I'm going to know about these two women, they're the same height and weight. And no one really has the edge in that regard. And I will say, Carmen had the edge in the fact that actually got a walking bullseye right across the rib cage. So, there's that. And you know! Carmen isn't going to hesitate to go after. Her. She's flicking her hair back. The confidence of Carmen really shining through right there. Here we go. This uh, women's championship match is underway. Being backed up into the, the corner, and Carmen making a little bit of a cheap shot there. And a beautiful work there. Right right on the leg. Right on the leg of Ashley. Carmen now with these repeated strikes over and over to just battering. Battering Ashley Knight like I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Bad ribs, man. All that stuff. Makes her a walking target. Oh! With a bat breaker there. Right? Carmen now. Over the covers. She may think she has it. This was tough. Look over that. I don't think you're going to say, I don't think you're going to be that easy to beat. Stiff right hand. Toss to the ground. And Carmen now, look at that. The drop kick. And so far, the match has been swinging in the direction of Carmen. And if I can go back to kind of what RJ Miles was saying, if I can a little bit here, and a, a fisherman soup like that from Carmen. You, you know, you got you to say, oh, wait a second, wait a second, straight into the cover here, Carmen. Almost had it. I really know it well. Out of one count at least. Just step closer to having it. And I say RJ Miles, I mean, he, he, he's determined, bro, but I, I hope he's able to do what he can to retain that world title night against Jackson Wade. Wait a second. Look at this. Actually, look at that flip. What a counter from Carmen. Rolling glue into a Hurricane Rana. Way to take that forward momentum and use it against Ashley there. Nice. That was just brutal, but that, that counter was nice. Way to take that forward momentum, Carmen. I like it. We're going to count a five here. Oh, man, back on the floor. And I was saying, I know RJ is all determined and everything, but I hope he's able to, to do what he can do to, uh, to beat Jack the Wade, and that will be our main event. RJ Miles versus Jack the Wade for the AOA, AOR, sorry, World Championship as the AOA Tag Team Championship will be next as the Black Assassin face the team of Nate Shields and, and, and Dwayne Frost. We might be a step closer. I'm about to say we might be going to that matchup right now. We've actually been able to kick out, but she does. Carmen's been looking like a beast in this matchup. Ooh, he shot to the rim, and I'm telling you. I, I wonder, I really wonder what's gonna Oh, the form there, and I was about to say. I wonder what happened if Ashley was going to take control, and she does. Ashley feeling it here. Norman probably taking it back a little bit. Approaching a little bit cautiously. 
Ashley with the striking game. I'm really kind of paying attention to Ashley's movement here. Let's see what she does. Look at that, like DDT. Okay. Uh, and we think you're going for the cover. Okay. One, one move. One move. Two and a kick out of two. And, I'm, and what I mean is, of course, I mean, of course, I'm watching what she does and I'm calling it that. But I mean for the standpoint. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean for the standpoint. I want to see how she carries. I want to see how she carries herself in this matchup. I mean, we saw her have that hot pace and everything. Now, wait a minute. Oh! Garmin said they're showing off with the cameras and stuff on the apron, but uh, Ashley was not having it. He trucked her down right on top of the, right on the apron. That's a rough spot for, for Carmen to be in. And Ashley now, Carmen Carmen fake first. Under that, uh, right under the ring pool. And the jumping DVD field the floor. Yeesh. And he kind of five. Carmen going right back in. Now Ashley going to the top rope here and in order to get up to her feet. Okay. And jumped it. Oh! Oh! That knocked Ashley stiff on that landing. I'm telling you, man. That high risk stuff isn't really going to work out for Oh, and that almost cost her the match again. She's in the back, actually fighting through the pain here. I'll give her, she, I mean, she's listening. Ashley's the competitor here at the end of this. She can do whatever she wants to do. But it's going to reach a point where the two would, I'm going to say that super kick almost did it. But um, it's going to reach the point where Ashley's going to need to, you know, kind of figure out how she's going to approach this. She's going to keep approaching it with this high risk approach. She could. She could, but with the bad rims, I know she got a 50 50 chance of she going to the top rope. What's she going to do? Oh. She thought about it. Is she, she going to springboard? Nope. Okay. I think Ashley's taking her time now. Well, she thought about it, but. Took a bit too long to think about it. And, and, and now Carmen at least one back in control for the minute. And I think that's the thing that's going to be interesting to see with Ashley here. I mean, we, we, we're used to seeing her dive and, you know, and get crazy and all that, but when you take that out of her arsenal, what does she have? And she's showing it here. Beautiful hurricane right there from Ashley. Two. Oh, almost, almost had it right there. Ashley... I mean, I mean, she's getting frustrated. I wonder. I'm, I mean, I'm sure she's frustrated that that was only a two count. And look at that. Oh! Once again, that high risk stuff didn't pay off there. Oh, man. Lower back first, right into the eight, right into the barricade. And again, this allows Carmen to take advantage. Might be in here. No, it is not. Actually, lucky. You got to ask how much more can she take given everything in this matchup? I mean, can we see twice already her going high risk didn't work? And like I said, since Carmen kind of has that stuff scouted given the previous encounter, you got to wonder really what does this do for uh, the psyche of Ashley. Wait a minute. Got the arm. Oh. A couple shots to the midsection by Ashley. Oh, Carmen staying right on top of her, not letting her, not, not letting her up. Wait a minute, here we go. Pull the back. Get that GTF. Reverse GTF, Carmen, and putting that move to good. Dude, there might be a wrap here. No. Thought it was. Carmen was ready, though. Look over that one. Carmen. Looking to put the one away. No, she does not. Ashley with a nice counter, nice back elbow. Hurricane Rana. Look over something there, nice counter from Ashley. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Nice, okay. Now, now if we're gonna go, yeah. I'm cool with that. Ashley, get. 
Okay, she springboarded in. This time it worked. This time it worked. Maybe she got to pace it better. I don't know. Two, though. It, ah, not yet. Only a two count. I think get a little bit frustrated. And I'll say this. I mean, she did, she, we saw her go high right there. We saw it pay off. But is that, is that going to be the trend? Is that going to be the theme? Does she got to place herself a little bit more carefully? That's what it is. She does it again and it pays off again. She get, she's getting the springboard, but... Oh, she said, she thought about it and said, okay, look, we're going to do it. But it didn't pay off there. Why did that team on suplex? I'm telling you, man, that high risk stuff. And oh. Ashley actually kicked out of this one. I'm impressed. Oh, what a slap. Oh, what a slap across the face. But look at the dominance of Carmen shining through. How does the Carmen is really shining through in this one? Off the rope. Oh, great arm drag though from Ashley. She was ready. Big kick to the midsection. Are you sure? Those lines to the outside. Is she sure about this? Yep, she's sure about it. Oh, it's not that bad, but she got it though. She got it though. Now, I mean, is she gonna go to the top rope? I mean, she, she has a beautiful frog platform up there. Is she gonna use it though? In this situation, German suplex, she's gonna use that. He, she's trying to keep her offense a bit more ground based, and I respect that. But is it gonna work here? Got her up over the shoulder. Got it. GTS. Better. You got it. Ashley was a bit stunned and staggered. Is she gonna have this one? No, she does not. Only a two and a half, man. No. Wait a minute. Ooh, there was something there. It form. And it, oh, there was something there to miss. That's what I'm telling you, man. What the world, Ashley, now? Thinking about something crazy or not to run her. Okay, I'm with it. Ashley continuing her offense. And tossing Carmen to the outside, and she's going, hey, get, wait a second. That's Chloe. That's Chloe. Wait a second. Chloe with a jumping knee. Chloe is back. Now, Jay Don Carey be losing his mind right now. Oh! Last time we saw Chloe was back at last stand. Is she gonna get some trauma too? Why not? Oh, fine first. Fine first. Go Carmen into the barricade. It doesn't matter. Just call. Oh! Chloe now. It's taking the fight to Ashley. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. It's getting ugly. Getting real ugly. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not looking good. Ashley. Look at this. That butt saw kick right to the side of the head. And she's rearing back over it again. Ashley for the second time gets clapped with that butt saw kick. And Carmen's getting out of here. She's with he's the women's champion. He retains it. <laughs> she got nothing to do with this though. She's out of here. Man. And Chloe. Third time. Third time for this. Yep. Butt saw kick. Wow! Chloe is back. Cost Ashley the Women's Championship. And I think these two are destined to do this forever. As Chloe is getting out of here. Man. Well, I mean, coming up next now with our co main event of the evening. AOA Tag Team Championship on the line as Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz takes on 
team of Dwayne Frost and Nate Shield. And I'm really at a 50 fit. Actually, no, I'm not. Oh, Nate and Dwayne ripped into the park. And that's real. Let me tell you this much about uh, Mr. Simon Ortiz and Johnny Evil here. I get why, okay? I get the general motive for aligning themselves with Jackson Wade and Brandino, respectively, in Top Flight Warriors. I get it. But, I need you to know one thing. That, since you two are young in your careers, way to ruin it. Way to ruin it pretty, pretty quickly, might I add. Because just in case Top Class Warriors falls through, what did you guys really have at that point? I mean, you already tried to, to, to take out the world champion and you kind of succeeded. It was a while before we saw him. So I guess in that way you succeeded. But the question is, are you guys going to be able to beat these two tonight? And, and the better thing is, what does that mean for AOA? If the two win, what does that mean for AOA? The TCW going to be down a couple of members? What? The contract is AOR. What? I do. Well, anyway, here comes the tag team champion. And if what RJ said is correct, these two are going to go into this match ready to bust these two up. Bad. Like, Nate over here? Nate right there? Right behind Wayne? I can promise you. He's going to be one of the scores this week. Because these two have been dealing, having to deal with TCW since, really since their inception. Okay. That, that's really what's been going on here. Dwayne, with the camera's on right now, so Dwayne and Nate, they're looking to take out two members right now. They can do it. Defending their AOA tag team title, they'll do it. And anyway. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the AOA Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz. They are the Black Assassins. You know, I gotta say this much about uh, Black Assassins. They better be on their A game. I'm and introducing their opponent. They are the AOA Tag Team Champions. At a combined weight of 538 pounds, Dwayne Frost and Nate Shields, the Maniacs Unleash. Are you doing a problem about the Unleash? Every ounce of rage, anger, and venom, and all that on Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz. And to put it plain, if you're wondering why the AOA tag team got it on the line, well, plain and simple. I'm going to tell the story again. Those have heard it. To me out here. But Nate, Dwayne, they were on AOA. They were in a ladder match. The winning team, the winning team, uh, well, if Nate, Shield, and Dwayne Frost won, they were then signed to NXTV, and which they won. But the problem is, the I also gave them a shot at the AOA tag team titles on that same pay per view. So when they won the ladder match, they were no longer AOA superstars. They then won the tag team titles which they mean they're an AOA Tag Team Champion, but aren't allowed to be on AOA Turf, so hence why they're able to defend it here. Anyway, speaking of defending, <laughs> Dwayne is doing a good job at defending those titles right now because he is running through Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz. And I'm telling you, RJ might have been on to something here. The Evil and Ortiz might have unleashed a side. Well, those two ain't Jack and Wade. Might have unleashed a side that these two are resorting back to, which is the viciousness, the brutality that these two are displaying here. Oh, Simon, you might just want to stay on the floor, man. I'm just saying, because Dwayne is on a roll. Especially being taken out twice by Jackson Wade within the past couple of weeks alone. Yeah, no, I think, I think Dwayne is ready. Oh, man. 
And Johnny Evil hasn't even gotten a shot off on Dwayne. That Dwayne is just mauling Johnny Evil here. Ooh, right into the, right the ring pro, man. Promise that ring pro been coming in, been coming in handy tonight. This man. Wayne Frog. That's a man in a world of trouble. Tag makes Nate. And here we go. Pop up power slam. Beautiful work. Beautiful work there. And Simon's getting in. And Simon probably should have just stayed put. Oh. Oh my name in the corner. And Nate is just dominating this man. Oh. Fifth right hand. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh, goodbye, Simon Ortiz. I think it was spilling to the outside here and Dwayne Frog taking his anger out of Simon Ortiz. Wait a second. Look at this. Dwayne with the spear. Right through the barricade. I'm telling you, talk about malicious, man. Oh, I'm going to keep like right now on the floor, but look at Dwayne. Oh, what a slow line. A vile clothesline dropping Johnny Evil. And with Simon Ortiz laid out on the floor, this match has really been in the ballpark of Nate and Dwayne here. Oh, now wait a second, look at this. That double suit like, man, it's been a minute since we've seen these two in tag team action. And I think for the sake of, uh, Simon Ortiz and Johnny Evil, they probably wish it was a little bit longer. And look at this. And look at this. Nate <laughs> having a little bit of fun here at Evil's expense. Standing in front of him. Oh, man. As he tried to crawl to his partner. And Simon Ortiz again gets knocked off the apron. Goodness. Tag made again. Oh. Well, this ain't looking too good for him. There we go. Three yeah, you the Dudley's right there. And look at this now. Swain Frost and Nick Steele, they've been running this thing. They've been running this match without question here. Oh, man. Beautiful work right there. Simon Ortiz trying to get back in this one. Talk about, talk about having him scout. He was ready, man. Promise you he was ready. And continuing the assault here, Johnny Evil, who has not been able to make a tag, has hardly gotten any offense in. Close mind taking his head off. Two. And oh, Johnny Evil able to kick out at two. And he's looking to retain the title right there. And now Johnny, if he can, he needs to get some type of some type of distraction, some type of offense going. There we go. That's something. We went to the face, another repeated shot there. And even now, golf is off on top of the, off on the apron there. Ooh, great form right there. Beautiful work. Look at him. Look at him go. Great swing. Hmm. Springboard. He had a set tall right across the face and the, the throat there of Dwayne. That's a way to definitely slow someone down. And especially in this game, he needed to slow these two men down. He's trying to go for a moonsault. Took a little bit too much time. Again, Dwayne. Ooh. That time I thought with Dwayne, I wouldn't have even went after Simon Ortiz, I would have kept my focus on Johnny Evil. And now because of that, Johnny Evil taking full advantage here. Double foot on driving him down. Brutal stuff. And now I think we're starting to see you two guys take control here. Wait a minute. Let's do the kneecap. And we saw, and we saw the Millennium Riders hit it earlier. Oh! And anything destroyer right there. Somebody was paying attention to the tag match earlier. A straight right hand though, and Nate trying to, trying to spin things around. Or trying to allow Dwayne enough time to get back to his feet here. Nate net breaker there. Getting Nate out of the equation. Now Dwayne is in the world of trouble. At this rate. Now the evil now is looking to take advantage here. Finally able to make a tag to Simon OT. First time Simon is legal in this one. Great assistance. Off the net breaker, straight into the cover here, too. And oh, man. And they're gonna kick out of that one and pop two. Simon Ortiz. And pop to uh, Simon Ortiz. Well, yeah, no problem. 
sort of, the Simon will see the in this one. However, once Nate Wayne gets back in this thing, you can probably call it a wrap, given the roles that they were on to start this one. The Bulldog there, and you know, get him well. Black Assassin knows that Nate, that Wayne, that issue with, you know, head and neck injury, definitely will move over the past couple of weeks. So they're gonna do what they can to take advantage of that. Dwayne with the counter. Oh, here we go. Wait a second. Burger suplex. Power ball. That might be a wrap right there. That might be it, but look at Evil then. Look at Evil coming in close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a, what a, no. Look first. Oh, wait a second. Look at that. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm going for the counter anyway. Unable to. Great thing up there. Ooh, trying to go for a cross body mid by a mile. It's allowed for for uh, the Nick to at least take control for a moment, but for, uh, before not only is able to counter at least on the outside, but back on the inside, the two legal men, Simon and uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this ain't looking too good for Simon Ortiz Spear through the middle row. And Dwayne uses his body as a weapon, crashing it into Simon. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Johnny now using his body as a weapon now. Man. Uh oh. You're up on the ramp now, Dwayne. You're looking too good here. Ooh. And violent back elbow there. Johnny Evil's kind of worn out, giving everything that he went through. Oh! Right on the stage, or on the ramp. Wait a second, now Simon, it looks like Johnny wants to throw a little bit of, a little bit of a communicational breakdown there. Wait a minute, oh! I'm pretty on the ramp, and Simon, being the legal man, breaking the count. And, and, and Johnny continues to do damage to Dwayne on that ramp. And throw him right into Simon, he's catching him with a, Time to drop, all right. Time to show he can wrestle, bravo. Oh, can on that, man. Come on, man. Come on. I mean, it's, it's effective. Oh, goodness. again, it's effective. So, you kind of don't want to fault them for it. Because it, it, it's working. And they get back in the ring knowing they do, but Dwayne and all types of messed up now. After that, that misses a, a flurry of move from the Black Assassin on the ramp. Look at Johnny. Break boom. The drop kick to the back of the neck. Straight into the cover, man. It, it's probably over here. Two and all. Oh. He got that too, but Dwayne is in trouble. Dwayne needs to needs to, to, to get back in the thing. That oh wait a second. Oh wait a minute, look at this. It probably doesn't help me count now in this last chance of Dwayne needs to get out of this one. ASAP. Now he really needs to get out of this thing. Not looking too good here. But Dwayne, he's fighting it out. Great work there. And he fights it all. This right hand. This couple of shots there. Great counter from Johnny, though. Great counter from Dwayne, though. You keep putting on the A show. Now Dwayne gonna show him how it's done, bro. Bar. Anyway, close. Those lines from Simon O.T. And ooh, man. Now Dwayne now continuing to go to work on Johnny. Uh oh. Well, Johnny ain't in a good spot, so <laughs> you might want to help him. Every time reprimanded to get him outside the ring. And Simon playing a big difference. Ooh, his right hand. Okay, where is Simon? Yo, Simon got Dwayne in a, in a rough looking position there. The superplex to the outside. Superplex to the outside, and that allows Johnny enough time to get back to his feet here. Man. Looking a little bit rough there in the frog glass at the back, not helping cases. He probably is, man. He's probably it, but Dwayne kicking out. 
Wade somehow kicking out. Wait a second. Look at Nate. Oh. I thought Nate were going to take Johnny to the asylum, but no. It's not going to be it at all. Now Simon getting a rough up on Nate there. And a back suplex, and really, Mike Assassin's have been in control here. Great counter, though. And Dwayne, Dwayne trying to get back into this one for his team. Oh, of course, Simon. Simon. They're just, they're, uh, come, on, come on now, choking him, Rev. Come on. Do your job, man. Do your job. Ooh, I'm gonna say Nate making the save. I, I was like, oh, I was quiet because I'm like, this is probably gonna be a wrap here. It would have been a shame due to all the cheating and whatever. But of course, I wouldn't put it past the guys that are named Top Class War. Do whatever they can to make sure that they are seen as such. It's like, ooh, that was a Top Class Slam right there. Beautiful work from Simon. Oh, I promise you this much, okay? Oh, wait a second, great counter there. Great counter there, nice clothesline. Okay, I see. Nice clothesline there, down goes Ortiz, and out of here goes Ortiz. And they still got to deal with Johnny and giving all the pain and stuff that he suffered on his head, on his lower back. He needs to do something now to turn this match around for him. Oh, it went right into a super kick. One key right on the back of the neck, right into the cover here. Two, and oh, look at that. Look at Nate Shield turning this one, making the save there. Going up top here. Only tried it early. I don't know if it's going to work this time. And oh, nope, it doesn't. No, it does not. But oh, Simon Ortiz. Of course. Because of course they do. Oh, right to the side of the head. Almost got whiplash on that one, and Johnny was showing off. He was way too close to his partner. Nate finally gets back in it. Nate's on a roll. Nate's rolling in heavy here. Look at this. Oh. Look the world slamming. Oh, well. You saw that coming. Now they're coming from Molly. Goodbye. <laughs> Ow. I'm going to cross the steps on the way down, fam. Is that looking too good for Johnny? Here we go! Oh! This gets big boo right to the face and made it rolling. Come on, man. Come on, big man. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even care that y'all got the AOA tag down to this one. Just go to work. Do the asylum connects. One. Oh, son. Sign of team making the save. Sign of team making the save to the outside goes move. Wait a second, Simon. Simon going up top now. Wait a second, look at that. Oh! That vicious clothesline to Dwayne. Now, wait a second, now. I mean, they still going to work on Johnny Evil on the inside of the room. Now, wait a second, he sees. Wait a second, he sees Simon. He got an eye on Simon. Wait a minute. Nate making the save for his partner. He knew that was not about to be a good situation. Oh, no. This isn't a good situation for Simon. Look at this. Through the announce table. To the asylum and through the announce table. Go Simon Ortiz. Does he now a non-factor? Does they can put this match up away? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, Johnny. Johnny counter. Couple of shots at the midsection. Wait a minute. Knee to the back. Detroit that clutch is locked in. The Detroit Death Clutch is locked in. Come on, Nate. Dwayne, get back up, man. Come on. Come on, Nate. Make it to the ruptures. What? Are you kidding me? This is... They, they did it. They, 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 they actually... They actually won. And to a certain extent, oh man. And it's so frustrating. Because Nate was trying to, ah. I mean, right here. Nate was trying to save his partner, but left himself in a bad position. That got it. oh man. 
And, and now what does this mean for AOA now? We are your winners and the new AOA Tag Team Champions, Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz, the Black Assassin. Now what does this mean for Top Class Warriors? What does this mean for AOA? And what does it mean for AOR even? They're AOA Tag Team Champions. They're not banned from showing up. What does it mean for them? And there's Jackson Wade. I mean, main event next, he's probably happy that the boys just won, sitting there getting some, some practice strikes in for his main event. Who the world? Yo, that's JP! Yo! Trying to see me, Jackson. Tried to use me as a scapegoat for you and Top Clav Warrior to take control. I give you that. That's clever. But here's the thing: if you're gonna start something, finish it. And you better hope that for your sake. RJ finishes you tonight because if he doesn't me and Big Mac we're gonna do it remember that third morning for my former a oh 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 ooh, ooh. Oh, hold on hold on hold on hold on hit him hit him they ain't got it. Come on. Come on. JB, grow down a bit, man. Well, nonetheless, if Jackson needed any more motivation, he got it. It's coming up next with our main event. Jackson Wade versus RJ Miles for the AOR World Championship. Let's get it on, man. Your reaction says it all for, for Mr. Jackson Wade. You set up a bounty against RJ. You use JB as a scapegoat by saying that, by, by not, first off, not revealing your intention. And I'm not saying you should have, because that would have been stupid. That would have killed your own plan. But you use JB as a scapegoat by playing with RJ the most because he knew how RJ felt at J with JB at the time. So you make this, this plan, this, this plot, and it worked. You got the help of Brandino and now the new AOA Tag Team Champion in the Black Assassins and it worked. But now all Jackson needs to do, not gonna be easy, mind you, but all he needs to do is, is win the world title when his plan is going to be completed. But, <laughs> as determined as Jackson is, I think our champion here got a good bit of heart himself. And is refusing to lose the championship that he had to crawl, scratch, bleed for, to win, to outwill JB to win. I mean, you can tell JB is still trying to still recover. He saw that he saw that metal brace that he had on his leg. And that was called at the hand of RJ Miles doing their brutal submission match back at last stand. And this is RJ's first ever defense of the world championship. Admittedly, this is also his first time we see we're seeing him with the world title around his waist since he won the thing. So if you really think RJ is going to let this title slip away from him, you out your mind, man. You know, I'm expecting a battle here, man. Time to throw down. It's going to be good. This is going to be good. RJ has been waiting on this moment. Jackson has been waiting on this moment. Two determined, determined competitors about to compete. For the day of our world championship. Gina, it is now time for your onslaught main event, and it is for the AOR world champion. Introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, 
standing at six feet five, weighing at 287 pounds, Jackson Wade. And introducing his opponent from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, standing at six feet one, weighing at 225 pounds, he is the AOR World Champion, RJ Miles. RJ Miles is ready to go. Jackson Wade is determined. And I gotta say, first off, Gino been doing a great job tonight. We're gonna check him out. Link will be down there in the description. The second, that's what it's all about right there, our main event of the evening. The AOR World Championship. Jackson Wade finally getting an opportunity with Thursday Miles, the man who finally, oh, get right to the knee. Oh, man. And knowing Jackson Wade, I was about to say, yeah, good luck with this thing starting off with any type of, any type of wrist lock or headlock or none of that. That's not his style. And look at that. Look at, look at Jackson Wade. Oh, man. What a super kick. And RJ. Admittedly struggling back to his feet, and I, you gotta ask the question, how healthy is RJ? I mean, he, did he come back too soon? I mean, he, oh, good. His first match back with on the most recent episode of AOR. Like, not long the go-home show. His, his first match was on that go-home show. So, we didn't even really get the chance to see, and RJ lost the match. So is RJ even at fully 100%? And I'll say this, Jackson Wade has been competing week in and week out, and he's been winning. And then, uh, so far in this matchup, I'm not going to lick him off with it, at least at the start. I mean, I know we're pretty early on, but it could be a fine thing to come here. And we're going to the outside of the ring, probably just on anything. And for those that have watched up to this point, thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Oh! I hope you guys have enjoyed up to this point. If you, if you like again, feel free to click the like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon that way you don't miss another upload. And, oh! Wow! Five third. Right across the, 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 the apron there. Well, right across the barricade. Now he's about to. Now he's about to use the apron. Slam the Lord in that apron hand by virtue. That LED board. Really just getting ragdolled here. By Jackson Wade. Oh, my third. Right into the right into the barricade. Damn, three of these people. RJ now is just in, in, in so much trouble. Look at this. Oh man. Oh, still not got a look of office in ladies. I'm feeling it. Good shoulder tackle. Just driving him to the floor, and Jackson is taking his time. Just picking apart RJ, who has still, oh, my. Neglected to get any offense in. RJ hasn't cut the one. Going for the cover. Man, two is already got, the, got a two and a half. On the champion. Oh, wow. Oh. I mean, RJ is just out. He, looked, he seems out of it already. Oh. Awesome. You know, Madison Barr, the uh, lover. The, the, oh. Oh. The, Yo, he just shoulder tackled him out to the floor. What? He just shoulder tackled RJ Miles out to the floor. Yo, I mean RJ, he's getting picked apart. I mean, he probably might nail the spear. This is gonna be it, man. Hey, wait a second. RJ counter. 
Okay. All right. All right. I'm willing to admit it probably just took a minute for RJ to get going. Okay. RJ now striking back. Oh, 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 he was. Look at that. Drop it right to the back there. That's the him stumbling. He's him to the ground, really. He's him stumbling. That's a boom. Drop to that. <laughs> he went face first into the bottom turnbuckle. Look at, look at RJ. Rolling in heavy. He dropped it. Not dropping. Not dropping him. Great counter, though, from Jackson Wade. Slam the spine first. Immediately into the cover. Who would have kicked out at two? Maybe he had a small flurry of offense there that might have it might have just taken a minute for RJ to find his footing and he kind of found it, so let's see if he can if he can follow up here. He's following up nicely. Put a shot there. Rattling right the cage of, of Jack and Wade. Great knee strike. Boot there. Uh-oh. He didn't drop him. He didn't drop him again. That's the second time in his match he didn't drop him. And Jack and Wade pointed out before what he dressed on RJ Miles that the only reason he beat him the first time is because he toyed with him and clearly he's not toying around with RJ Miles this time. Or maybe not clearly. Maybe that could have been Jack and Wade's excuse for real. But there's definitely something different about this one from their first encounter. How much I will say. Now RJ Miles is busted open. RJ now using the turnbuckle as a weapon. Gotta go for a, go for a boot. He, he, he's striking at air, man. He, that's how stunned RJ probably is, man. He was striking at air. Pele kid finally dropping him. This is RJ's moment. RJ needs to climb back in this one. I wouldn't be doing all that. Ooh. Well, I just said it. He paid off. Drop it. A couple of drop kicks there from RJ. This is your chance, man. This is your chance. Line him up. Super kick right to the jaw. And now we're setting up for the mile long ride. Here we go. Got it. Dumped him right on his head. To the man. One, two, he may have it. Oh, that was close. He almost retained. And RJ. <laughs> that was the shot that he needed. That was the shot that RJ needed. Calling a stun. Jackson Wade up to his feet here. Here we go. Great shot spear. RJ. Oh, wait. He got busted open. JB now. Or, or not JB. Jackson Wade. Sorry. It's busted open. Don't play Camilo. RJ's rolling. Super kick. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Oh, what a boot jump. Thriller. Now Jackson is sick of it, man. Jackson is sick and tired of it at this point with RJ Mott. Stiff right hand. Dropping him to a knee. Oh, what a spot muscle. It's fine, but from Jackson Wade. And now back in this one. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Oh! Buckle ball! Brutal work. Half and half on the back of the neck. Immediately into the cover. Here we go! He got it too. RJ is still out, man. RJ is still out of this one. He's still out. He's still out on the feet, really. The counter there from... The counter there from... from oh, man. Great counter from RJ. But instantly paid for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was thinking about that accordion rack and to take this one home. Nope. Great counter there. RJ. Got JV in trouble. We got, why did I say JV? I'm happy to be a former world champion. Oh! Come on, RJ. Come on, man. Beautiful work now. RJ is feeling it. 
This is your chance, bro. Look at him. Oh, oh no. Oh, he caught. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. He caught him and then powered on him to the floor. Oh, my. Oh, what a lovely one. Oh, that was, that was rough. We just heard the air almost just leave the building. That's like the air probably left the, the long of RJ off of that landing. Now Jackson just laying it in with the close on the third one in a row. I can feel it. That Jackson's probably just closing in. I mean, I mean, let, let me let me be real. I mean, I, I, I'm getting excited here. We're gonna saw RJ, you know, getting back in. RJ out. Oh, oh he kind of would, but for the most part, Jackson way waiting on him. Ooh, just right here. He's, uh, he's out. RJ out on his feet here. Jackson Wade just pulled over. Him. He's clutching his rib. Clutch the check, clutching at his rib on that one. RJ. He, he might be done. RJ. Oh! Cut him in half with the speed. Oh, no. All right, man. Second time in a row. Jack and Wade setting them up, spearing them again. Jack can feel it. Jack can know he's in, he's, in, he's, in, he's in the bag now. Oh! This shot across the face of the Ooh, roll to the outside. Jack can not letting him get away. Tossing them right back in. Third spear. Third one. Third spear. Got it. Man. Go for the cover. Cover right here. Oh, wait, wait, what? What? I told you! What is the mission, man? Do you know? Who? Oh, he he countered. He countered. He countered. No way. No way. RJ. My long rider. My long. Nope. Oh, knee to the rim. The knee to the rim. Uh oh. Oh no, Jackson got him again. The my long rider was countered this time. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. Accordion rack is locked in. Accordion rack is locked in. Come on, fight out of this one, RJ. It, wait. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. We, we got a new champion, but it was at this moment right here. Where where you can say that was the that was the ultimate turning point. But RJ somehow was able to fight off, fight out and try to go for the mile long ride. But it was just nothing left in him. Nothing left in him. And no choice but to tap out. Good. Here is your winner and the new AOR World Champion, Jackson Wade. Jackson Wade is now sitting on the top of his throne. 
Who in the world is going to stop them? Thanks for joining. We'll see you later.